right. Today I would like us to discuss the properties of radiations. In our last subtopic we discussed the ionization power of radiations. Uh, we also discussed the penetration power. We said that gamma has the highest penetration power followed by beta and then finally of particles. We say that ionization is a process by which radiations that is passed through air and in the process knock off electrons from air molecules leading to formation of positive ions. We say that alpha have the heaviest or the strongest ionization followed by beta. Oh, in our today's subtopic, we are going to discuss the properties of radiations. We are going to start with the alpha particle. The alpha particle. The alpha particles. The first thing we said that alpha is just a stream of a helium nuclei. It has a helium nuclei. H, atomic number two, mass number four. So the mass number is four, just a helium nuclei. That is the very first property that an alpha particle is just simply a helium nuclei. Number two, they are positively charged and hence they are deflected by both electric and magnetic fields. For example, if I can demonstrate deflection by electric field, if this is the source of radiation and it is producing the three types of radiations, that is gamma, then here we have gold, alpha, that is alpha, and then finally here we have beta. This is beta, this is alpha. Alpha particles are positively charged. So if you have, this is the negative terminal of a battery. And this is the positive terminal of a battery. Remember we said that beta is an electron. Beta is just an electron. And you can see clearly beta is attracted to the positive because negative will always be attracted to positive. Alpha, which are positive. Alpha are positively charged. They are attracted to the negative terminal of the battery. So that is deflection by electric field. This is deflection by electric field. Property number three for alpha particles and before we move on to property number three, we can demonstrate deflection by magnetic field. If I can demonstrate deflection by magnetic field, the best way to look at deflection by magnetic field is to look, it from, look at it from the side of beta. Beta is negative. They are negative. They are just electrons. He said a cross means, this cross means into paper. This is filled into paper. This is filled into paper. To determine the direction of deflection, to determine the direction of deflection in a magnetic field, we use the Fleming's left hand rule. The le Fleming's left hand rule. The Fleming's left hand rule. This is, this is, a beta particle which is negatively charged. Negative charge means they are just electrons. They are simply electrons. They are simply electrons. If electrons move like are moving like this, they constitute a current which moves in the opposite direction. So current is moving in the opposite direction. So current is moving this way. This is current. Because the electrons are moving, this is where we have the source. This is the source. If you have the source here and the electrons are moving this way, they constitute a current which moves in the opposite direction. So current will move this way and the field is into paper. So if I use the Fleming's left hand rule, first finger is filled into paper. 
second finger is this is the second finger the second finger will give me current this one current the first finger is fitted into paper and then the thumb will give me the direction of deflection of the beta particle see the diff the beta particle will deflect in which direction downwards and then obviously then the the, the alpha particle will be deflected on the opposite side on the opposite side if i use the other for suppose now i have filled out of paper this is filled out of paper that is filled out of paper and the electrons are moving this way these are the beta particles they are moving towards the right they constitute a current which moves in the opposite direction so current again will be moving towards the left but the field in this case it is out of paper a dot is out of paper so if i use the fleming's left hand rule first finger field is out of paper first finger field is out of paper first finger field is out of paper how to paper how do we demonstrate it then current how to paper this is the case this is the case this is the case it looks a bit weird to demonstrate so you can see current is towards the left first finger feel it outwards the direction of deflection of the beta particle will be upward so for this case the direction of deflection of the beta particle will be upwards and then the alpha will go downwards and look at you need to note the way we are drawing these things look at the alpha particle look at how they move closer to the gamma yeah. the, the deflection is not as much as the deflection of the beta look at the beta it is easily deflected because beta particles are very light but alpha particles we said they are very heavy that is why you can see them moving along the the horizontal line which is the gamma that is why you can see they are moving closer so these alpha particles are a bit heavy they are very heavy but the alpha particle the alpha particles are very heavy but the beta is very light that is why you can see it is easily deflected and that is how you determine so for this one you have you have such a thing like this like this first finger field current deflection of the beta so beta will be this one and this one will be alpha and then we have the gamma gamma is not deflected then in the next property in the next property we have they have the lowest penetrating power we saw that alpha particles have the lowest penetration power because they lose most of their energy in ionization they lose most of their energy in ionization so they don't travel for a very long distance they can easily be stopped by a thin sheet of paper then another property they have the strongest ionizing power yes why did we say that they have the strongest ionization power because they move very slowly and so they take a lot of time to interact with the air so they cause a lot of ionization they lose energy rapidly and so they have a very short length they don't move for a very long distance they still lose their energy due to ionization so they don't move for a long distance unlike the beta which move for a longer distance because they don't cause a lot of ionization so they can easily move for a longer distance they are slightly deflected because they are very heavy they are slightly deflected they are slightly look at them they are slightly deflected not like the beta which are very greatly deflected when we go to beta we are going to say that they are greatly deflected but the alpha are slightly deflected moving on now to um beta particles we are going to say the properties that beta particles is just a stream of electrons a beam of electrons they are just electrons that are moving electron those that is what we call beta particles they are negatively charged and that is why you see they are deflected towards the positive terminal of the plate if this is the positive terminal of a battery then the beta will be deflected towards the positive that is deflecting by electric 
field and then we have demonstrated how the beta particle is, is deflected by magnetic field so they are negatively charged and hence they are deflected by electric field and magnetic magnetic field they have more penetration power than alpha particles simply because they have a lot of energy they don't lose a lot of energy to ionization so they can easily penetrate more materials they can move for a longer distance like i have demonstrated here they have lower ionizing power than alpha they have lower ionizing power than alpha they are lighter and move faster they move faster if they move faster if they move faster then they don't take a lot of time to interact with air particles and so they cause little or no ionization they cause very low ionizing ionization on the air they are greatly deflected they are greatly deflected as demonstrated here the alpha particles are less deflected these ones are greatly deflected the gamma are not deflected moving on now to gamma these ones are not deflected by electric and magnetic fields since they carry no charge so that is why you can see they move horizontally they are not deflected gamma is not deflected because it carries no charge they are high energetic electromagnetic radiation remember that gamma was part of the electromagnetic spectrum in fact it is the most energetic followed by x rays and what are they so gamma rays are just high energetic electromagnetic radiations they have the highest penetration power remember we say that they have no mass hmm? so they are they can travel very fast so they have very high penetration power they cause very weak ionization hence lose very little energy and if they lose very little energy then they penetrate through very thick materials so they have the highest penetration power and then lastly they have the lowest ionizing power they have the lowest ionizing power remember we said that they have no mass and they move very fast you know next subtopic we are going to talk about uh, detection how we can detect electromagnetic radiations we are going to see things like uh, a gm tube a gigamula tube how you can detect radiations using uh, you can detect using an electroscope you can detect using cloud chambers and it will be very interesting and i wish you all the best